In this video, we are going to learn about sequential circuits. Basic introduction we are going to learn. Basically, digital circuits are divided into two types that is combinational circuits and sequential circuits. Combinational circuits are the one where outputs depend only on the inputs given at that instance of time. There will be no memory elements involved in the design of combinational circuits. In the case of sequential circuits, memory elements play a major role in the design part. These memory elements help to store, retain and then retrieve the information later at any point of time when it is, whenever it is required. So the binary information stored in these elements at any instance of time defines the state of the sequential circuit. The block diagram of sequential circuit is given in this fashion. Combinational circuit will be there which is developed using only basic gates and inputs. External inputs are given as an input to the combinational circuit. Besides external input, it will be getting the feedback from the memory elements. That is, that is the previous outputs will be given as the inputs. So, and we will have the external outputs from the combinational circuit and the outputs of the combinational circuit will be given as inputs to the memory elements. This feedback path makes the sequential circuit output depends upon the previous inputs. In the sequential circuits, we will be having two types. Synchronous sequential circuits, asynchronous sequential circuits. Synchronous sequential circuits is nothing but which generate the output at the same instance of time. Asynchronous means outputs will be generated at different instance of time. Asynchronous sequential circuits. The storage elements what we use in this circuits are generally termed as time delay devices. So in order to make uh, time difference in generating the outputs, time delay devices will be used in this particular circuits. But in practice, the internal propagation delay of logic gates is of sufficient uh, duration to produce the needed delay. So there is there will be no requirement of extra devices which causes delay actually. A synchronous sequential circuit may be regarded as a combinational circuit with the feedback. So there will be no special inputs like clock pulses in the case of asynchronous sequential circuit. It is not required. Because of the feedback among logic gates, an asynchronous sequential circuit may become unstable at some particular instance of time. The instability problem imposes many difficulties on the designer. So, if it is not being stable, then it is not so easy to design many circuits actually. That is the drawback of asynchronous sequential circuits. Synchronous sequential circuits. The synchronous sequential circuit employs signals that affect the storage elements at only discrete instance of time. That is all the circuits, all the memory elements which are involved in the design part produce the output at the same instance of time. To get the outputs at the same instance of time, there will be employing some signals actually which we call them as generally clock generator. The storage elements used in the clocked sequential circuits are called flip-flops. A flip-flop is a binary storage device capable of storing one bit of information. So it will be able to store either 0 or 1. Only one bit it will be able to store. Storage elements that operate with signal levels rather than signal transitions are referred to as latches. Those controlled by clock transition are flip-flops. This is the basic difference between the latches and flip-flops. We will see what is latch and what is flip-flop in detail later in the next video. Latches are said to be level sensitive devices. Flip-flops are said are edge sensitive devices. Latches are the basic circuits from which all flip-flops are constructed. So latches will be a part of flip-flops logic diagrams. 
although latches are useful for storing binary information and for the design of asynchronous sequential circuits they are not practical for use of storage elements in the synchronous sequential elements we cannot use latches in the design of synchronous sequential circuits actually we use flip flops in the case of synchronous sequential circuits for example we'll see sr latch which is the basic one which is introduced sr latch using nor gates so in this case uh, how we get this function table let us consider now first case s is 1 and r is 0 when we consider s is 1 r is 0 substitute 1 here and r here as uh, 0 the property of the NOT gates if you see if any one of the input is 1 output is 0 so if I say uh, S is 1 and R is 0 here because this is 1 irrespective of the second uh, input to this NOR gate Q bar we can say as 0 so this 0 is fed back as an input for other NOR gate 0 0 output of this NOR gate becomes 1 so we can say that we are getting 1 0 similarly now when I substitute uh, both inputs S and R are 0, 0 here previously we got Q as 1 here. So what we say here is like Q1 will be transmitted here. So 1, 0 means 0 and 0, 0 is 1. So if you observe again like it is preserving the state 1 and 0 and then 0, 1. Now if you consider this Q will become 0 and Q bar becomes 1 and then again we are giving 0 0. Why we are making 0 0 so many times is in order to show that uh, when we are giving S and R as 0 0 it preserves the previous state. So what happens what happened before like when S is equal to 1 and R equal to 0 Q is 1. And after giving 1 0 if we give 0 0 it preserves its state as 1 itself. Now later we change the state from 0 uh, 1 to 0 0 now. When it is 0 1 Q is 0 and we can observe that now when we give 0 0 after 0 1 it preserves the state as 0 itself. So here 0 comes. So now it shows that it is preserving the state. Now last one, if I give 1 1 irrespective of the inputs, second input of uh, NOR gates both Q and Q bar becomes 0 0 which is not valid actually. Q and Q bar cannot be same at any point of time because they are complement to each other. So if Q is 0, Q bar should be 1. If Q is 1, Q bar should be 0. So we say that this is invalid state in the SR latch. Now we'll see SR latch using NAND gates. Similarly, we'll see like uh, by substituting the values of S and R as 10, 11, 01, 11, and 00. And we can observe how we'll be getting these values. Thank you.